now watch this illustration. You gotta exaggerate the wing of the leg back, you see, back. Okay, watch it again. You see, exaggerate the pulling of the leg back. Make it look much more faster and more forceful. Watch this now. I like the naturalness of your kick. Watch this now. You see, at the end, there was really the feeling there, you know? The naturalness of your kick. Watch this now. You see, at the end, there was really the feeling there, you know? Washington Star, printed in Washington, D.C. on August 16, 1970, quote, Three of Bruce Lee's pupils, Joe Lewis, Chuck Norris, and Mike Stone, have between them won every major karate tournament in the United States. Joe Lewis was Grand National Champion three successive years. Bruce Lee handles and instructs these guys almost as a parent would a young child, which can be somewhat disconcerting to watch. It's like walking into a saloon in the Old West and seeing the fastest guy in the territory standing there with notches all over his gun. Then in walks a pleasant little fellow who says, how many times do I have to tell you, you are doing it all wrong? And the other guy listens intently, unquote.
We were talking about the uh, Far Eastern philosophies. I was just wondering if you ever practiced a Kung Fu or any of the other martial arts. Kung Fu, yes. Uh, Bruce Lee was a great friend of mine, and he, uh, we used to work out together for a long time. Uh, it was very close. We were very close friends. And he was a very interesting gentleman, wasn't he? Bruce? Yeah. Oh, yes. He was a groovy guy. Yeah. I was very sorry to see him go. What do you think made him so unique? Uh, well, he related everything. His whole life was related to martial arts. Uh, he lived, breathed, fought, moved. Everything was dedicated to his the highest principle of, uh, of his own self-evolution. He created himself. Bruce Lee was uh, a little Chinese guy who demanded of himself great excellence. I mean, he, he was a, a true artist in that respect. He created himself. And uh, that's what I think. He was an unusual man. He was, uh, he was beautiful. He, uh, I don't know what to say about him, you know, because of the, he was so, he's, the perfection that he achieved uh, was awe-inspiring. I mean, he was the fastest moving person you've ever seen. I mean, you'd reach out and pew, he was like a poo, poo, all over the place. We used to work out of his place, and we, we had, he had a 700-pound bag hung on a big L-iron, you know, or what do they call them, stuck in his patio, and it would swim on a big s spring, and he would kick that thing and double it over. And uh, I would kick it, and it would double me over. <laughs> <laughs>